Now, the biggest challenge with wanting to move to some of the most promising countries in the world is that most of these countries require you to have a job that sponsors your visa. And this is where most people run out of luck because to be really honest, to land a job with visa sponsorship is not one of the easiest things to come by. But that is exactly what makes Germany one of the top destinations you should absolutely consider. Germany allows you to move to Germany to look for a job, which means you don't need a job to move to Germany. You can simply move to Germany and then look for a job while living in Germany. That kind of solves the whole problem now, doesn't it? So can you just pack up your bags and move to Germany on the next flight? Well, not exactly, but, but here's the thing. You can apply for a job seeker visa or a job search visa, which allows you to move to Germany to search for a job. So what exactly is a job seeker visa and how can you get one? Now, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now is the time to do it. Hit the subscribe button now and click on the bell icon for notifications. A job seeker visa is a long term residency permit which allows you to stay in the country for six months and look for a job. Now, once those six months are done, if you find a job, you can switch to a German work visa or a German work permit, and you will be allowed to live and work there. If not, you will have to leave the country. While this visa has been around for a while, there have been some crucial changes to the visa that have made it even more desirable. But we'll get to that, so hang on a bit. Let's start off with whether you even need a job seeker visa in the first place. To be honest, it depends on your citizenship or nationality. Those coming from EU, EAA and Switzerland can enter Germany for a job without having to get a visa first. Apart from this, those belonging to Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Israel, Japan, Canada and the US are also exempt from obtaining a job seeker visa. They can come to Germany and look for a job, but they do need to register for a residency permit once they arrive in Germany. If you belong to any country apart from the ones just mentioned, you would need to apply for a job seeker visa in order to be allowed to enter Germany. If you're still unsure on whether you need a visa, you can hop over to the visa navigator and fill out the form and check for yourself. I'll link this in the description below. So how do you know if you're eligible or not? In order to prove that you are eligible for a job seeker visa in Germany, you can provide evidence of completed professional or academic training. You need to prove your qualification is recognized in Germany or comparable to a German educational qualification. You can check how your degree holds up by visiting this website. If you'd like to work in a regulated profession, for example, in healthcare, a professional license is mandatory. If you have vocational training, you must provide evidence of the German language skills required for the desired position. In most cases, a language level B1 of the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages is required. You would also need to prove financial stability. You would need to prove that you can cover your expenses for the duration of your stay in Germany. As proof of secure livelihood, you can, for example, present a blocked account with 5,600 euros if you're applying from India or a declaration of commitment. A blocked account is a bank account that cannot be used or can only be used to a limited extent. A declaration of commitment basically means that someone living in Germany financially guarantees you or undertakes to be financially liable for you. Now, if you have been following the job seeker visa for a while now, you would have realized that you no longer now need to show five years of work experience and other requirements. These are the current eligibility requirements. Apart from this, one of the changes to the job seeker visa is while that earlier you were not allowed to work on a job seeker visa, with the changes coming to effect, you are now allowed to work up to 10 hours a week on a trial job. The visa or the residence permit to look for a job can be issued for a maximum of six months. The residence permit to look for a job cannot be extended. You can only reapply for a visa for this purpose if you have stayed abroad for at least the same amount of time after the expiry of your residence permit as you did before looking for a job in Germany. Once you find a job that matches your qualifications, you can apply either for an EU blue card or for a residence permit for skilled workers in Germany, and you can apply without leaving the country first. Let's move on to how to apply for a job seeker visa. Now, there's a document on government websites on how to apply, but strangely, it's only in German, so I did what I needed to be done and translated the document to English. 
Now forgive me if it sounds a little bit off, but I didn't make any changes just to keep the document as authentic as possible. Now the first step is to check for prerequisites and like you've seen, we've already covered step one. The next step is to get an appointment at the German Embassy, where this is where you'll need to start checking the official German consulate website for your country as you'll need to apply via the official body or the German mission in your country. If you belong to India, I've linked the official website for Indians below. The first thing you need to do is check the checklist for your country. This is the checklist for India. And like you see, it's extremely exhaustive. You can either read it here or you can download it using the link I've provided. The next thing you need to do is get your photos according to the biometric requirements, which you can find here. For the third step, you need to fill out your application form, which you can either fill out online or you can print and fill manually. There's also a bunch of other forms that you will have to fill out and you can find out more about it here. Next, you'll have to book an appointment at the consulate or the VFS office if you're in India. Now, the third step is to apply for a visa in your country of residence. Remember to carry along all of your documents with you and use the checklist to ensure that you haven't left anything behind. As a part of the application, you'll have to pay a visa fee. The fee for an entry visa is 75 euros for all visa types for adults and 37.5 euros for minors under 17 years that are issued for long-term stay in Germany. You usually pay this at the German embassy or the consulate in your local currency. In the case of India, keep in mind that most consulates only accept demand drafts for payments of fees. If the approval of the foreigner's authority is necessary before the visa can be issued, the procedure can take up to three months, in some cases, even longer. Now, step four is entry into Germany. Assuming everything goes off well, you'll receive your visa and you will be able to enter Germany. Once you're in Germany, you can apply for a residence permit in Germany if your job hunt has been successful. If you successfully land a job in Germany, you'll need to apply for a residence permit and a work visa. You can either apply for an EU blue card or an employment residence permit. Application for both visas is made from Germany in the immigration office in your town if you are still in Germany or from the German embassy if you are abroad. Now, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now is an absolutely great time to do it. Hit the subscribe button now and click on the bell icon for notifications. Now, I know that was a lot of information and it's not the easiest process, but here's the thing. If I can figure it out, so can you. Now, you're probably also wondering if this is the only route through which you can move to Germany or if there are other routes. Well, the good news is there are other routes and there are other ways you can consider moving to Germany. And if you'd like to know more about that, all you need to do is watch this.